Okay, here's some updates to the toroidal generator. I've remounted the um, neodymium magnets sideways. That way um, I wouldn't have to uh, spend so much time trying to build a curved coil. You'll notice the new coil. It's a uh, special design. It is, uh, has some steel that is embedded inside. I used uh, fiberglass resin and fiberglass mat to, to build this coil. Um, same principle though, it will have no um, lens effect while it's running, there will be no kickback on the, um, on the motor. Um, I'm a little disappointed that this coil doesn't produce more power, however, while it's wider than the original coil, it's, uh, it's not as long and I think the length has something to do with that. Uh, the next design, I'm going to build another coil similar to this, but I think this time I'm going to wind the wire all the way around the coil except for the back end where it bolts to the board. Um, I'm going to cut it on, show you my voltage level, which is about 1.5 to 1.6 alternating current for the single coil. Oh, by the way, then I will show you the, um, that there is no kickback on the coil. This is true in this case, the same as the uh, original models that I put together. Uh, I, I, well, I'm a little discouraged about the drop in voltage. I am encouraged that I was able to turn the coils this direction without having to make them curved, uh, which would be a lot easier to build the next one. Um, anyway, that's an update.